what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today again we are talking about new york city and how you can move to new york city lately i've been crushed of questions of people who wants to move here so i cancel all my afternoon appointments so i'm here let's get this done and let's answer all the questions baby well guys let's break this down two things are the most important before moving to the city so number one is to find a job you should find a good job that's that makes sense right but finding a good job is not easy especially in the current situation so actually before finding a job you should look for a housing and when you never been to new york city my personal advice is to look for a short-term uh, leases so you can live in different areas of the city so you can pick the right one because if you try to rent a whole apartment at the beginning the minimum lease is starting from one year lease and just think about if you don't like the area if you if you for example change jobs and your new job is uh, much further from your apartment you will be screwed so find a short-term lease uh, i would say a room it's fine and maybe some studio short-term lease let's say a month between one and three months and then uh, after securing the housing you can look for a job well uh, finding a job in new york city is not easy but the main difference about the job market here in new york between other places is that you definitely want to know what are your expenses and the difference is that you might take a lowball offer working in different state you might get uh, a pay cut but here you know exactly how much money you need and you don't go below that no you don't want to live miserable and you don't want to cut your expenses you come in here to have amazing life and you come in here not just work but you you come in here to acquire knowledge and maybe some of you want to move here permanently so bottom line know your numbers and ask for the amount that you need that's it well guys let's say you got uh, the, the job you secure the housing what is the next step the next step is to find your community in the city well like any other new place you gotta you gotta build uh, friendships you gotta uh, participate in the community you have to exchange the knowledge experience culture whatsoever so my personal advice is, is to start with uh, with google google has uh, free classes a lot of people from different areas industry show up to learn some new skills other place that i would suggest as well is uh, new york public library uh, you can borrow a lot of books, participate in different classes, meet different people. Also, if you're not into uh, studying, uh, booking or something, I would advise you can uh, sign up for a, a gym membership. And in gym, actually, you can build uh, interesting uh, relationships. A lot of people, depends on the area of the gym, maybe you should pay for an upscale uh, card, but believe me, sometimes the amount that you pay it will pay back uh, many times over and last touches on the topic guys uh, a lot of you ask me about the budget well budget for the starters in new york city i would say three months worth of expenses uh, i hope you will be okay and you will make it uh, very soon so I believe that uh, you will spend your expenses during your first month and the following uh, savings for the following two months, it will be with you till the end of your stay in the city. So don't worry, just focus on the details, follow the steps and uh, be very cautious. There are a lot of scammers here in the city. So always double check uh, Google, all the reviews, all the people who list properties, all the people who offer network events, all the people who offer services for uh, newcomers to New York City, always double check the information on Google. And the most important thing, guys, subscribe to the channel, right? Talk to you soon, guys. Thank you.